Okay, so I'm now going to talk a little bit about um, treat training dogs. So this is Boots, who is female, so I'll try and call her she throughout the video, but I clearly have an issue with that. So this is Boots. Um, I've literally just adopted her, so she's got not You better prove it. Look, let's go. Get rid of Boots. Return Boots. Yes, I do want to return. Let's go to the adoption centre. You know, this is a, a legitimate video. Um, we're going to get a great day. Oh, that's a boy for once. So we're Boots the boy now. Hi, Boots the boy. Um, we are going to make Boots um, an adult because that's a lot easier, generally. With green eyes, no good. No good, but that's okay. Um, we're going to go to the toy closet and I'm going to talk a little bit about treat training. Now, I found way back when treat training thoroughly confusing because I couldn't work out. I know treats, look! Um, I found it thoroughly confusing because I, I did not understand the direction from pets.com. Now, things have moved on, so this may just be me. Um, but I'm going to show you how to uh, train them differently. Now, I will always work in an area that has a shelf somewhere, so we'll be using the shelf in the uh, toy closet today. Um, let me just move this into the centre. That's better. Um, so we're using the shelf. You can use the garden, but you've got to empty it of all the plants and flowers and whatever and everything else that's sitting in there. Uh, the reason you use a shelf is you need somewhere to put your treats. so that they don't just randomly knock them open and eat them. So there's four directions that yeah. pets can uh, do treats in. So yeah. if I take the ham treat, you wiggle it to the right of the pet. Now when I first ever, wee, there we go. Um, when I first ever, you can have that, go on, we're done. Um, when I first understood, uh, was, was learning how to do this mm. when Pets 3 first came out way back when, yeah. we're talking 20 years ago now, um, when they said move it to the right, I thought they meant go like this. And you're moving it to the right, but that's a down treat. What they mean is waggle it on the right hand side of the pet. No, we're doing roll for that one. Unacceptable. Oh, I know it's terrible, isn't it? So you never reward for something that they haven't done correctly. So I want a forward roll for this. That's not a forward roll. That's not a forward roll. That's still not a forward roll, so put it away. No! No, don't eat it! Don't eat it! Don't! Don't! I've got it. It's fine. Um, right, let's keep trying. Still not a forward roll. Do do do! Oops, wrong treat. Oops. You can tell I've planned this well in advance. Not a forward roll. Nobody cares about this trick. Come on. Still nobody cares. Nope. Incorrect. Let's try again. Still not right. Nope. I have never given you the treat for this. Okay. Go away, think about what you've done. Come back out. Don't know if that actually has any kind of eff um, effect, but you know, sometimes you just have to try everything. Don't grab it. When they jump like that, sometimes they're trying to grab it. Not a treat. Not the right one. Good example of persistence, this is. No. You can see why you use shelf, otherwise they'd be robbing you constantly. Robbing you blind, I tell you. Well, okay, we'll have that. Jumping is, after all, quite useful. Yeah. Well, let's focus on jumping then. And this is reflective of how I train my dogs. 
I got no rules. That is not what I wanted. This I No! Naughty! <coughs> Up here somewhere. Right. <coughs> nope. <coughs> Again? Nope. <coughs> These have not worked for you in the past. I have apparently picked a very thick dog. Yay! Right, so we've got another one. Now, back in the day, I used to find that um, if you could do it three times without making an error, that fixed the behaviour. So let's see. Way there we go. Good dog. You gonna make an error? You gonna do it right? You gonna jump for us? This is not what we are going for. In Pets 4, if they do that, you just ignore them. Way there we are. Good. So, we won't persist, but we have more or less learnt that one. So let's work on one of the down treats. Now I'm using a bone for this, because I like to keep things simple. So we're going to do down. Not the right down. We're aiming for sit. Play dead. And we're aiming for sit. Oh, very good. Very good, Doc. Well done. This is a good example. Um, sit. Well done. Hoof. Love Danes. Right, Danny, let's have a difference. Now we're using the... What's that? A chicken. Yay! Well done! I don't have IBM my voice installed instantly, I just like talking to my computer. So we've got sit locked onto the bone and now we have onto the supposedly chicken um, we have the down treat. So you can see how you get different uh, treats uh, give different tricks for the same movement which means that you can do all the things you need for obedience very easily. They will end up spherical if you keep feeding them <coughs> treats. So that's how we, um, the treat directions work. Um, so they're not what I used to think, which was move the mouse. They are waggle in the area. So it's a side treat. Sorted. It's only got the jump down. Check our sit out. Here's a waggle in the down direction, below the dog. Sorted. And then we've got the chicken bone, which I'm going to use for down as well. And hopefully we've got a down stay. Down stay. Nice. So that means with three treats and four directions, um, I would hope that means you have 12 different tricks that you can treat. Treat? Train. Um, which means you should be able to do everything you need for obedience, plus some really cool extra things like sliding down the screen. Lovely. All right then. Thank you very much. And he's going to rate the treats. <laughs>